Hi, welcome to Hot Mamas. It's Jacqueline and Lisa. Hi. Uh, we promised you an eye look today, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, Lisa's going to do um, a look on me. I've already got eye makeup on, but she's going to show you how she actually did it, and she's going to show you how she did that. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. All right, okay. so I have um, a, some shadows in a Z palette. This is a MAC shadow. I don't know what it, what it's called though, which is really Let's show terrible. them. Let's show them the color. It's so a, it's like a pinky, what, pinky, yeah, pinky color. Yeah. So this is what I would use as a transition color up here above the hood. And Jackie has hooded eyes. So what that means is that the top part of the eye tends to slip down over the eye. Right. So if you only apply eyeshadow to the lid part no one's going to see it. It'll disappear because you're going to open your eye and it will disappear behind your hood. So the key here is to pull the hood, uh, push the hood back and make the eye appear more up. Lifted. Lifted. So darker colors will make your hood, make the hooded eye recede and lighter colors will bring it forward. So you want to put the lighter colors on the areas you want to bring forward here, mm -hmm. like on your mobile lid, which is this part, and you want to put darker colors on the areas you want to recede and not be so um, prominent. So, but first off, before you do anything, you use a sort of a mid-tone to light shade um, as, as a transition color, which is just basically the color between, you know, your darker color on your outer V and your color that you would put on your lid which is this one I know the silver one is a um, color pop color so all three colors we got a dark a medium and a lighter color right okay so <clears throat> I would put the the transition color above here above the hood above the crease and I would also bring it down here into the outer V maybe it showed them on that eye so above above the crease kind of odd with makeup party on and then probably into the outer V here as well and then I would also take this color and put it underneath as well smudge it underneath so in order to do that you need this type of a brush it's called an angle brush right and so you would take the color oops which color did you use this one and you would put it underneath here, like this. The brush that you would use to put on your transition color would be something like a fluffy crease brush, which would be like a which would MAC, look like that Mac 217. So it's pretty dense, but it's got it kind of comes to a tip, to a V. And the reason you want that is so that it fits right in that crease area. So then I would take this color, which is the darker color, and put it in the outer outer V and maybe up into the crease just a tiny tiny bit which I already did so I'm not gonna redo it but the more of the darker color you get up here the smokier the eye will look that's, that's right. what they call a yep. smoky eye. The key eye. also is not to get below below you, mm -hmm. you don't want to pull it down yeah. you want to bring it up because if you put a dark uh, eyeshadow here and have it go down, it ends up having the effect of pulling your eye down. You want to be able to lift the eye with your eyeshadow. So then you take your pop of color, in which in this case is silver. We're using Burgundy That's color silver. pop. And these are great little, uh, little pans. And I would put this on your mobile lid, which is the part that moves around, because this is what you want to highlight. You want to sort of make it look like you have very big wide eyes. By the way, I'd be doing a lot more blending here, but you get the idea. <laughs> and so the mobile lid is this part, as we explained earlier. And then to finish off, after doing concealer underneath, which we're yeah. not doing right away, but let's pretend we did. I take a, um, a highlight color, which is like... Something bright. You want something that's light yeah. and matte. You don't want to put a shimmery or glittery eye... Um, eyeshadow in this area because what it'll do is end up pulling your hood forward what you want to do is use a matte to, to 
just lift the eye without uh, drawing a lot of light to it. So I put that here on the top and just kind of you like kind of highlight the the brow bone. And then to finish off, I would take a I would highlight the inner corner with something probably something like this. And then I just pop that right in there. Like that. And that's pretty much that's pretty much the basic the basic eye. So so to just quickly recap, you have a transition color, which is a medium neutral color. To then light. To light. To light. To, to light. light, yeah. yeah. It's something that you want to blend the other two colors onto so that you've got three shades in there and they all look like they're all blended together. I went kind of crazy with the highlight there, but you yeah. have to fix that with the with concealer. And then you've got the silver, which is a highlight color. That's actually really nice. And ColourPop, these color pop products that this would be like five dollars probably yeah that's yeah cheap. so it's it's actually a good um it's a fun thing to do if you're not sure on a color and then this is the darker color and these are the colors that you want to use sparingly and then the outer part of the eye that you can also use that as a liner yeah yeah and so that's what i'm doing right now using the darker color with an angled with an angled brush yeah and I'm applying a liner. The more liner that you get on there, and the more you blend it out, the smokier your eye will look. So you can go from a day to a night look with the same techniques, just varying color intensity and the amount that you're using. Yep. And also, I think I fixed this up here. I've got a bit too much there. So you put okay. a little more concealer there. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're all finished with your eyeshadow, what I like to do is then I go underneath with the concealer and I use my concealer at that point. I don't do it beforehand, I do it after. I don't. Because I put, I put, I put, I do, do the top, I, I don't. top of my eye, Yeah. then I do the concealer, then I do the bottom. Yeah, I do primer, eyeshadow, and then after eyeshadow is all done, da, 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 then I do the concealer. And I bring concealer down a little bit to just kind of hide that transition here. Down in the triangle yeah. area, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we were just going to talk about eyes today, so that's the eye look. Uh, you can use that with any color palette at all, and uh, it would it would work for everyone. Thanks very much for joining us, and next we're going to talk about the dark lip, which is new for fall, and that's what Lisa's got on today. Thanks.